The mother of a man killed last week is now recovering from a gunshot wound herself after a drive-by shooting at her son's vigil. She was one of four people shot at the vigil last night in the Redbird area of Dallas. All four victims were stable when taken to the hospital. Now police are looking for the suspected shooter they say was in a white Chrysler. Fox First Peyton Yeager reports. Sunday, Dallas police were outside the discount food mart at the corner of Gannon and South Westmoreland Road for the third day in a row. Crime scene investigators picked up shell casings and took photos of evidence from Saturday night's quadruple shooting. Flowers and balloons are left behind from a vigil the night before, which was interrupted by gunfire. Police say someone inside a white Chrysler opened fire on the group of people gathered outside the convenience store Saturday evening, spurring people in the crowd to shoot back. Dozens of evidence markers littered the ground. The crowd of people met up Saturday night to honor 19 year old Donovan Jones, who was shot and killed at the same location on Friday. Jones's family and friends laid candles out for the 19 year old. Around 9.20 p.m., four people in the crowd were shot during the drive-by, including Jones's mother, who tells Fox 4 she was shot in the back and released from the hospital on Sunday. Three others were rushed to a hospital and survived. Just before 4 p.m. Friday afternoon, Dallas police responded to two related shooting calls at the convenience store. Investigators say 23-year-old Ja'Cory Simpson first got into an argument with a 20-year-old man named Taquan Cooks in the parking lot. This is a prior mugshot of Simpson in Dallas County. Police say Cooks shot Simpson, but then Simpson allegedly approached 19-year-old Donovan Jones and shot him. Investigators determined Simpson tried to run away, but then ran inside the building. Officers arrived on scene to find both Simpson and Jones shot. Jones died later at the hospital. Simpson was taken to the hospital in critical condition. As of Sunday evening, Simpson remains hospitalized and now has an arrest warrant for murder and unlawful carrying of a weapon. Public records show Simpson has a long criminal record, including drug charges and burglary. Cooks is charged with assault, serious bodily injury, and was booked into the Dallas County Jail. Cooks's mugshot was not available yet on Sunday. Peyton Yeager, Fox 4 News.